The final update of season one is finally here and we got a ton of content to take a look at. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, the most wanted event is here. As you guys can see on the top left corner of our screen, we got four bars that say heat level. As the match progresses, these bars are going to slowly fill and uh, getting kills is going to help increase the bars faster. So yeah, each time a bar fills, we're going to get one perk. Total of three perks. The first one is pretty basic. It gets you more gold on eliminations. The next one increases your movement speed and the last one slowly increases your health over time as long as you're not in combat. As soon as you get max heat level, your location is going to be temporarily revealed to all enemies in your location. So, you know, those perks do come at a pretty hefty price. We also got five brand new exotics. In order to get these exotics, you got to land at one of three POIs, either Shattered Slab, Brutal Bastion, or Faulty Splits like we are. And that's because each of these POIs has a vault, and those vaults do have exotic chests. Okay, someone already killed the mythic boss that spawns here. The mythic boss drops the vault key card as well as an exotic weapon. We have five exotic weapons. Each boss drops one and the rest of them you can find from chests. This is gonna have the vault key card. A lot of people fighting here. More people approaching. I think it's safe to let them fight it out and then we get third party. All right, no. All right, so we got the exotic Blink Mag SMG. Pretty much whenever you reload your SMG, you'll get the zero crystal effect. We also got a couple of unvaulted guns, clearly. The silenced pistol is back along with the heavy sniper rifle, the deagle, and the dual pistols as well. All right, so we got our first heat level and we got a perk already. Let's go ahead and quickly loot this vault up. All right, these two chests are the most important. These are the ones that give us the exotics. The boom sniper rifle, that's an old one. Here we have a new one, the Heisted Explosive Assault Rifle. This thing is crazy. It's literally a red eye assault rifle, except it has explosive rounds. It only has 12 shots instead of 25, and the bullets do actually have bullet drop off. And right, so we got two brand new exotics. The other exotics include the exotic shotguns. There's an exotic Maven Auto shotgun that increases fire rate as you deal damage to opponents. And there is the exotic heavy shotgun, which has the same property as the heavy sniper and that it can break buildings in one tap. All right, so we got our first three heat levels, which means we have all three perks on the top left corner. We have the enhanced movement, increased healing, and the uh, we get more gold as well. As soon as that fourth bar finishes filling up, our location is going to be revealed and everyone is going to be pushing us. But I think we should definitely make a move. Yeah, I think I got the exotics I really wanted to try. It's only 12 shots on this. Like I said, there is bullet drop off. But it does have explosive rounds, which is really cool. I want to try out the SMG. Shoot it, reload. And we get the zero point effect for only a couple of seconds, about five or four seconds, it seems like. We also have an exotic P90, which is actually probably the best exotic out of the bunch. It allows you to infinitely tactical sprint whenever you have it equipped. So you get the infinite slap effect. So I think now's a good time to talk about the augments. This is one of the new ones, last shots. The last two bullets of your pistol magazines deal bonus damage. We got a sniper surplus, which gives us one additional shot in sniper magazine. They added this perk because obviously they reintroduced the heavy sniper. We got the key master perk, which grants you two keys whenever you open up a uh, hollow chest. Oh, and look at that, guys. We got the heisted accelerant shotgun. This is the Maven auto shotgun, except as you deal more damage, it slowly increases rate of fire and damage. And the final perk we got is the exotic grab bag. It'll give you one of the five exotics randomly. Okay, we're almost at maximum heat level, which means soon everyone's going to be chasing us down. Apparently, you can pay 500 gold to either increase or decrease your heat level status. Up to you, you know, if you want to get the perks, you can pay 500 gold to increase it. If you don't want to get hunted down by the entire lobby, you can decrease it. The exotic heavy shotgun is also really good. You know, one tap structures, similar to the heavy sniper, except then again, it is a heavy shotgun and heavy shotguns are pretty hard to hit shots with. So for that reason, I didn't pick it up. The most wanted event also comes with a free battle pass. And in this battle pass, you can actually get a bunch of free rewards, including a free skin and a free back bling. Yeah, this drop off feels really strange. Okay, we finally heated up, guys, and our location is revealed. That should be fun. There's a lot of guys fighting over here. Hold on. Sixty damage per shot ain't bad at all. 
Okay, this Maven Auto Shotgun is honestly pretty good. It's rate of fire, feels really nice, I can't lie. This might be the brand new go-to shotgun. Not on my watch. But he thought he'd take my crown and get away with it. Okay, from that medium range, this explosive red eye assault rifle actually packs quite a punch. It does 60 damage per shot, which is actually a lot. And just a couple shots, you can get your opponents extremely low. I did hear shots in this direction, and the zone is closing in here. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that exotic just saved us right there. If we didn't have that zero crystal effect, we definitely would have died. Okay, so all we have to do is pop minis, and we got the 200 HP still, which is really nice. We're hitting him from behind the tree because we have explosive rounds. That is fun. Okay, this guy's getting bullied. He's definitely going to bounce up out of here. Someone's sneaking up over here. I'm definitely a fan of this heisted accelerant shotgun. Four people left. We've got to start moving in towards zone. Go ahead and do that. Got placed a launch pad, but he got too scared. Okay, there's still four people alive. Gotta keep that in mind, even though it's a super small circle. Okay, I think we're gonna chill and play low to the ground somewhere here. Okay, honestly, I might just go back on top of this mountain. With our uh, explosive red eye, I think that's gonna be the perfect thing to do. Okay, that guy was definitely a first time player. Right, if we get on top of this mountain, we're going to be chilling. It seems like the zero point crystal effect only works if you have the SMG equipped. If you switch it off, it doesn't work. All right, we got storm mark, which means we should be able to see these guys, right? Oh my God. I should have used the hammer. I don't know what I was doing. Anyways, guys, that's enough for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.